Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Prayer. I hope this evening finds you well. Today is National Sleep Day? National Good Sleep Day? Something like that. So hopefully this little time of calm and peacefulness at the end of the day will aid a restful sleep. And we are continuing to pray for healing through Lent. We gather in your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you, for you come to us in Jesus, and you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are, because you invite us to come and you have promised never to turn us away in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we live in a world where much is amiss and we regret any part we may have played in harming creation or causing pain we come to confess our faults and recognise our frailty before you. Jesus, friend of sinners, you bring hope in our despair. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, healer of the sick, you give strength in our weakness. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, destroyer of evil. You bring life on our dying. Lord, have mercy. God of our hidden depths, show us that we are forgiven so that we may forgive. Touch our wounds with your healing so that we may be people who heal. Help us to be at peace with ourselves so that we may become makers of your peace for others. Through Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. I praise the wounds and the blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my body. I praise the wounds and the blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my soul. I praise the wounds and the blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my spirit. I praise the blood of the Lamb that makes all things new. Amen. Our God is the God of all people, the God of heaven and earth, the God of sea and rivers, the God of sun and moon, the God of all the heavenly bodies, the God of the lofty mountains, the God of the lowly valleys. God is above the heavens and is beneath the heavens. Heaven and earth and sea and everything that is within them, such God has as God's abode. God inspires all things. God gives life to all things. God stands above all things and God stands beneath all things. God of compassion and love, we offer you all our suffering and pain. Give us strength to bear our weakness, healing even when there is no cure. Peace in the midst of turmoil and love to fill the spaces in our lives. O oh Lord, kindle a flame in our hearts, that we may show your compassion in the world, and that through us, Christ may walk on earth once more. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you do, I will thank you. 
I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me, as in all your creatures, and I shall ask nothing else, my Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart, for I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands. With a trust beyond all measure, because you are my Father. May God's blessings surround us and love fill our hearts. May Christ walk beside us and never depart. The Holy Spirit keep us faithful and strong to the end and the stars light our pathway as sweet blessings descend. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace in believing that we may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow is the International Day of Happiness and I know at times um, it's St Michael's we've shared some of the action for happiness materials which I've found really useful over the past 12 months especially at the times that I've been struggling and if you just search for International Day of Happiness it will take you to the official website and there's all sorts of good stuff on there which might just be really helpful at the moment particularly if you're struggling to find those little moments of happiness the the sort of the tagline for this year's day is happier kinder and together and what they mean by this is um, to find ways tomorrow of doing something for our own happiness and um, to show kindness to others for the benefit of their happiness and to try and involve other people, bring people together to try and find ways of sharing and expressing happiness. But I know that for many of us this is a struggle right now and as tomorrow is a day of happiness and today is a day of sleep then um, I found a, um, a poem from John O'Donoghue which was shared by a, a fellow chaplain earlier this week and it's a blessing for one who is exhausted. When the rhythm of the heart becomes hectic, time takes on the strain until it breaks, then all the unattended stress falls in on the mind like an endless increasing weight. The light in the mind becomes dim. Things you could take in your stride before now become laboursome events of will. Weariness invades your spirit. Gravity begins falling inside you, dragging down every bone. The tide you never valued has gone out and you are marooned on unsure ground. Something within you has closed down and you cannot push yourself back to life. You have been forced to enter empty time. The desire that drove you has relinquished. There is nothing else to do now but rest and patiently learn to receive the self you have forsaken in the race of days. At first your thinking will darken and sadness take over like listless weather. The flow of unwet tears will frighten you. You have travelled too fast over false ground. Now your soul has come to take you back. Take refuge in your senses. Open up to all the small miracles you rushed through. Become inclined to watch the way of rain 
when it falls slow and free. Imitate the habit of twilight, taking time to open the well of colour that fostered the brightness of day. Draw alongside the silence of stone until its calmness can claim you. Be excessively gentle with yourself. Stay clear of those vexed in spirit. Learn to linger around someone at ease who feels they have all the time in the world. Gradually, you will return to yourself, having learned a new respect for your heart and the joy that dwells far within slow time. So what I would ask you to do tomorrow or at some point over the weekend when you have a moment is just to have a think about one simple question. What makes you happy? And just to meditate upon that just for a few moments and see if maybe you can recognise some of those very, very simple everyday things that actually make your heart happy and bring you joy and I hope that helps sustain you over the coming days and I hope that this week is an okay week for you and I hope that you're looking after yourself and that you are well and I'll be back with you next Friday. Please take care of yourself. Good night.